Have you ever met someone that you thought was the one and you were sure of it? It felt like they matched your list. You told your prayer partners, you told your girlfriends, you might even told your mama that you met the person. And so you're in the relationship, you're going through it, only to find out a few months later that maybe you were wrong. And the letdown of discovering that you may be wrong is really hard to decipher and to believe because, like I said at the beginning, you thought that this was it. You thought that this was the one. You had already created this world that you were going to live in together. And so there's the heartbreak of having to step away from that fantasy. Then there's the embarrassment because you told all these people, you told your heart, you told yourself, and then actually having to put in those boundaries and let things go to make space for something new. What I find for women who have a really hard time deciphering if someone is actually a good fit for them versus just another example of someone who is avoidant, someone who's unavailable, someone who may be unfaithful, someone who is nice but just not the right fit. When they continue to go through those types of things, it makes it hard for them to trust their picker, for them to trust that they are going to pick the right partner for themselves and also hard for them to trust that there's actually love and available people out there for them to connect to but there absolutely is. If you are someone where your problem is that in a room of 100 people, you keep picking the same people, even if it's a very pretty outside, you somehow keep picking the same people who have similar trauma patterns of being ending up being unavailable, ending up having struggles to commit, ending up having secret lives or fantasies or things that they will not communicate with you having people on the side or just not really being fully invested in the relationship and you are bringing more energy than they are, if those types of things are your patterns, then those are things that can absolutely be broken. And also looking at yourself to discover, okay, what is it that I'm also trying to get from these relationships? What is it that I keep looking for that I keep trying to resolve? Where's the trauma? versus where is my preferences. So this coming Tuesday, I'm hosting a free masterclass where I'm talking exactly about all of those things. How to not be duped, gaslit, and deceived into thinking they're the one. And I'm going to be go, going over four tips for love addicts to pick better partners. So I would love for you to join me. It's at 6.30 p.m. CST. And you can join by clicking the link in the bio. And I hope to see y'all there.